Today, a newly renovated manatee habitat opened to the public. It's out in Bradenton. Manatees receive care there to hopefully return back to the wild. New tonight, ABC Action News reporter Julie Salamone shows us the role it's playing in helping these gentle giants. Janice and Iceland weigh less than 500 pounds each. The two manatees ending up here at the Bishop Museum of Science and Nature. Staff is caring for them in the museum's newly renovated Parker Manatee Rehabilitation Habitat that opened Wednesday. Both of them probably should have still been hanging out with their moms a little bit more and learning from their moms a little bit more. So, so they're both considered uh, somewhat naive to the wild. The manatees were rescued in January in Sarasota County. They suffered from cold stress and were found without their mothers. The new habitat resembles a cypress spring, an environment similar to what manatees would encounter in the wild. Now, if they want to rest in a shallower depth, they can do that. And we, and we definitely see them using that. Um, it's textured, so it has a little sandy texture to it instead of uh, being a smooth bottom. The museum works to rehabilitate manatees so they may someday be released into the wild. As of last week, 800 manatee deaths have been recorded so far this year in Florida. According to state wildlife officials, only 637 manatee deaths were reported all of last year. It's always a bad year for manatees. It's always a tough year for manatees. This year especially has been very tough um, and it's and tough on all the people who really care about manatees too. The habitat is now open to visitors. Guests may learn about manatees and how to better protect them. Reporting in Manatee County, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News.